Hi, Tim here with my day 27 keto diet update. And happy to report that uh, my weight went down by 0.4 of a kilo, which is uh, sort of around about 9 tenths of a pound. So total uh, weight loss is now 5.9 kilograms, and that's pretty well spot on 13 pounds. Now if you've been playing along at home, you probably saw yesterday's video, where I actually gained 0.7 of a kilogram. So it's good to see that uh, most of that, pretty well a bit over half of that, has now come off again, which is good. Now, uh, yesterday I also released a video on um, MyFitnessPal, which is a website which enables you to track um, basically your, uh, you know, your stats, your macros, if you will, like your, how much fat you're using, your carbs, and your protein. Now, so I talked about that in day 26, but I also released a second video that actually shows you how to set up your MyFitnessPal account and specifically to set it up for keto. Because the thing is, that uh, particular site uh, isn't set up necessarily just for keto, it's set up for all sorts of weight loss and actually even for weight gain if uh, uh, people want to actually gain weight, if they're sort of underweight. So the thing is there is certain things you need to do to get it to work properly with keto. You need to configure it so that you're tracking the right macros and not doing the thing traditionally with like low fat diets and so forth. But anyway, so the point was that yesterday um, I did the train, I did the video, so have a look at that one if you want to set this up and look I am going to hardly suggest you do that because I found it very interesting going through the stats. I actually, for the first time yesterday, entered a full day. Every single thing I um, ate or drunk, I actually typed in there. And it's very surprising. It's very surprising how these stats were, um, were work out. And I found that because I was actually more in tune with what I was eating specifically, um, I was actually keying them in sort of as I was going. I found I was a bit surprised by some of the carb contents and so forth. So I'm going to suggest that particularly early on in a keto diet, you may want to really start using this tool. It does take a little bit to set up. It's probably a lot easier if you're in America because a lot of the foods in the database are already there. But I found because I'm in Australia, although there are quite a few good Australian foods in there, then there are some that I had to enter manually. But the good thing about it is when you enter a particular food item manually, you can share that with the database with everyone else using that website where you can just have it for yourself. And so what that means is collectively over time all the database gets updated and more and more products get added in there. Because the idea is that if you're eating a particular type of product, let's say you purchased a particular type of bacon, you can just select that, type that name in and enter it and it knows all the various macros. It knows how much protein per you know, serving and all those types of things. So it's a very, a very, very quick way to get this up to date um, and figure out where you're at. So I'm going to suggest that you do that even if you've been doing keto for a while and just track it. So for starters, just key it in exactly as you've been doing. Um, uh, as you're going and just track the stats and just see where you're at with carbs and um, proteins and fats and you might be surprised so what I found was that I was a bit more mindful of what I was eating knowing that it's going to be entered into the food database in the MyFitnessPal and consequently I felt better with the, the choices that I made even though I don't think I've been you know, really bad one thing I did do was on yesterday I made a cheesecake you know, yesterday or the day before I made a cheesecake and um, I think that may have contributed I think I may have eaten too much of that because the other thing this does track is calories as well. So I feel that like maybe the day before yesterday, I actually, or actually yesterday, yeah, the day before yesterday, I ate too much of the cheesecake and possibly that may have contributed to the weight loss, uh, to the weight gain. Hard to know for sure, of course. It's a bit of speculation. But bottom line is you've got all the stats there. It's a free product. There's no reason why you shouldn't be using it. So just check out my video also that shows you how to configure it. Really, I do, su do suggest you actually have a look at that <coughs> because um, it's just putting you more in control. Um, and you really know where you're at with, um, with what you're eating and how many calories and uh, what your macros are as well. All right, other than that, there's not really a lot else to report. It's actually a public holiday here in Australia on Monday, so I'm going to take the day off and um, do a bit of computer games or just do something relaxing and try not to work too hard. So hopefully uh, you're having a good time wherever you are in whatever part of the world it is, and I'll be back uh, tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click this button here. You can see it on the screen now. That's the like button. Please do that, it helps spread the word and get other people to actually find my videos, which is fantastic, it's a win-win. Also, if you want to comment on my videos, please do so, that's over there, right over there. If you do that, I will actually respond to any questions you might have. And lastly, and probably most importantly, please subscribe. That's right, hit that button right there now, you can do that right now while I'm talking, and you can subscribe to my channel, and I'll be updated automatically every time I release a new video, which is often. Thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another video soon. Cheers for now.